everyone, and welcome to a real conversation between two native English speakers. I'm Adam Navis, and I am here with Liz Wade. Hello, Liz. Hi, Adam. Today we're having a conversation about the program How to Use the Word Okay. Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay. See, we just used okay. it about three different ways there. <laughs> Before we get into this program, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Hit that little notification bell. It really is a great way to get contact, content and it helps us out. Um, of course, we also have the membership level. If you click that little join button under this or any of our videos, you can learn more about that. It's a great way to get extra content for a few dollars each month. It really helps support this channel and we love it. Lots of perks, lots of uh, good stuff there. Uh, okay, Liz, did I miss anything there? Uh, just that we have a really cool opportunity to have the scripts for oh. every program delivered to your inbox every Monday so that you can follow along with uh, the program. That's yeah. a pretty cool thing. But so do people, really... do, are those scripts, do they have to give those back? No, you get to keep them. You get it's, to a, keep them. it's a PDF script that will come to your uh, email inbox on Monday. You can listen to every program, you can mark it up, you can print it off, and it's yours to keep. And it's uh, only a dollar a week about that. So um, yeah, you can sign up for that on our website. Yeah. Okay. Let's dive into talking about <laughs> okay. So this program, is it's a little different than some of our other programs which are about a person or tell a story. This program is about a word. The word is okay. You've probably heard that word to, it can mean uh, a lot of different things, but the general meaning is like agreement, right? Yeah, I think so. Maybe that's the most common apart way from, that people... Apart from tone or context. Yeah, or like, do you agree? That would be, yeah. you yeah. know... It's a, it's a okay. word about agreement or disagreement. Um, yeah. Uh, and the, the pro... Although, I mean, as you can see in this program, it's so much more than that. Yes. One of the things that I would be frustrated about if I was trying to learn English is... Words can, depending on how they're used, mean the exact opposite of yeah. what they, uh, right. or they can mean the, the both things, right? Depending on yeah. how they're used. And this is a word. Although, Adam, I have to say that like, uh, you know, as this program says, it's one of the most common words uh, of English words like around the world. So maybe people already yeah. sort of know those things. It could be a word that has... You know, a lot of words come from some languages and they just get adopted into English or they go from English to uh, other languages. So maybe okay is one of those meta words, a word that is not just restricted to English. Maybe it's it's yeah. gotten it's used in other languages. Although I do love the, I know I've used although like a million times here. I love um, at the end, there is a quote, I'm going to find it. Um, about how this professor who's written this book about the word okay mm -hmm. basically kind of gives like a low-key insult to people in the United States. <laughs> like, here's the quote. It is strong, about, about the word mm -hmm. okay. It is strong. It is simple. People from the United States do not like complex ways of life. And okay is about as short and simple as you can get. So if you want to be short and simple and not complex, just like people in the United States, you can use the word okay. You know, I want to be <laughs> insulted by that, but I think I it's kind of true. Like, um, I, I fully agree. <laughs> we like to reduce things to very simple. Um, one, one side is right, one side is wrong. Yeah. Yeah, okay, fair enough. And okay is, is about as simple as you can get. Well, it's not, not necessarily true. Yeah. So in texting, sometimes people will just write K. That is true. So, I've heard that's what the kids do, Adam. <laughs> Which is even just, shorter. Oh, no, actually, for okay, the kids or the like cool people, 
they text KK. KK. Yeah, did you not know this? I, I'm learning right now. Yeah. I, I am cool. old. You see this white hair? I am an old man and <laughs> yeah. I don't um, KK. If you're, if you're really cool and you're like, uh, and you're texting, you don't text OK or OKAY. You text KK. I feel very means- strongly that OKAY is just, that's right out. Nobody. <laughs> Okay, so you should you would never text O K A Y. As O K? No. Yeah. So if I was like, hey Adam, can you uh I don't know. Can you do this video with me? And you'd be like, okay, how would you text it? I would say, yup. <laughs> I would okay, do the so letters you, I would do the letters. The word okay. I would do the letters okay. Um Yeah. Or, I think, or how are you feeling today, Adam? I'm feeling okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, in that case, I think uh, okay, that usage of okay, also is a very um, down, the, down the middle, right? Like if so, if you say, how are you feeling? And I say, I'm okay. What I'm trying to communicate is that I'm not bad. I'm not feeling sick right. or I'm not feeling this. But I'm also not like amazing. It's like saying right I'm fine. Middle. I'm fine. Right. Uh, there but might it could be some good things. Depending on like how you said it. If you were like oh, I'm okay, or if you were like uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Right. So I like that too is a lot of in your inflection. All right. I'm gonna give you an emotion, voice. and yeah, you have to say meaning. you have to say the word okay with that emotion. Oh, you're going to say an emotion? I'm going to say an emotion. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Don't start yet. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Okay, okay, okay. All right. I'm going to go with, we're going to go with some easy ones. Just happy. Like something good happened. Okay. See, I would go with, okay. Oh, yeah. Much more enthusiastic. I feel like that's maybe an old person way to say it, but. All right. Uh, Anger. Um, wow, this is a lot of pressure right now. Um, anger. Uh, I kind of have to have a... Okay, so here's the scenario. I came to you and you've been waiting because I wasn't there for the appointment. And I just walk up and be like, and I say to you, hey, are you ready? Uh, okay, so I actually uh, tend to be a little sarcastic. So I'd be like, okay. Mm. okay. That would be my, my angry okay, probably. What about frustrated? Like, like, okay. yeah. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. All right. One more. Um, uh, you, something has happened and you have to adjust your expectations. Okay. Yeah, that was good too. Mm-hmm. We're going to have well, a whole, uh, check I out our new sure. spotlight channel where we just talk about the word. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Where we do a lot of like uh, improv and yeah, yeah. I'm just kidding. Uh, and I need a okay scene. I need a acting. scene. Yeah. Okay, acting. <laughs> uh, yes. So the word okay is. Uh, would you write okay a y? I well, I did want to. I did want to touch on this because we kind of we kind of talked about it a little bit earlier. The one of the like weird things about the word okay and people who are learning English would. I would assume we would be really frustrated with is the fact that okay can be spelled two ways, right? So, and some people even spell it a third way. So there's the letters okay. My, where my preferred either, way. Either both lowercase or uppercase. Yes. Um, uh, depending on maybe like the formality. So like if I was writing it, I might say capital O, capital K. But if I was like texting, I might just do two lowercase OKs, right? Oh, we're going to come back to that this in a second. Finish your thought. Okay. Um, the other way is to say, see, now I, I, I know, realize you, that I always you, say OK. You do say it a lot. Wow, it's a lot. <laughs> um, the, the second way would be capital O, period, capital K, period. So O dot K dot. And the third way would be uh, all lowercase, 
O-K-A-Y. And so if you're writing that, um, because OK is pretty much an informal word anyway, if you're writing any of those forms, it, all of them are acceptable. Like how yeah. frustrating is that? <laughs> I would assume very. It's so, not even based on context or anything. It's just they're all OK. I would make the case that in speech mm -hmm. and in text, you can use the word OK just fine. But if you were yeah. writing, say, an, a school paper or an academic paper, you would never use the word OK unless someone unless you were quoting someone who was right. like in in dialogue in speech yeah so it, and so said that this thing was okay right but even then you you probably you, you um you would need to define it a little bit you would need to say like um the school board member did not agree with the the new rule she said this is okay yeah. so that you kind of get the context of yeah. what it is you would never just say it was okay because it it couldn't be clear without context, in my opinion. Right. That's that's maybe the the point of it. For me, I was thinking it's more of a um, uh, it's more of like a word that would color things and give you thing give you a sense. But if you wrote it, people wouldn't know how to read it without that without the tone. It's right. a word that requires a lot of spoken um, right. context to know. Do I mean, okay, or, yeah. you know, yeah, okay. Well, and this is like one of those things like in relationships, right? Where maybe somebody asks you like, hey, are you okay? And you're like, yes, or yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. You know, so. It's almost like, an, yeah. like a word that doesn't mean anything until it's used. Yeah, yeah, that is interesting. It's almost like a sound more, like if I was like, if you were like, how are you doing? I was like, eh, or, eh. Like yeah. you could tell we're just using the word okay to make a sound almost. Yeah, um, it is true. Or it, like, it, yeah, it's like a filler word. Yeah. When I say, okay, so. Okay, okay. It's just a filler word. Hey, yeah. my brain is catching up. Right, right. Yeah, it's, it's a, it's kind of like, I put a point in the ground. Okay, and then you move on. Yeah. Okay. So you... one thing I did find interesting about this program, uh, going away from this a little bit to like, where did the word okay come from? Yeah, that was interesting. And um, I think it's super interesting that there are some examples in here from different parts of the world where there are already, well, there were already um, before kind of maybe English uh, took over the mm -hmm. being the most common one. Um, there are different languages in different areas that sort of came up with that same um, sound combination to make up the word that sounds like okay, mm. right? Like, is it, there are some uh, West African, is it West African languages uh, that are like, yes. okay? And then another um, uh, Native American language, mm -hmm. which is uh, wauke. Mm -hmm. Like, how crazy is that? Yeah, I have heard a similar thing about the word uh, cut. Really? Like the, the k and the t sound hmm. is is also similarly to maybe okay. It's like a k t yeah. sound. Well, in that... German, it's schneiden. So it doesn't work well, that for doesn't German. Work. But... Ooh, look at me. I know German. <laughs> I don't know what it is in Spanish. Yeah. Probably if somebody's going to write, it's this in Spanish. Please do. Yeah, uh, it is. Do. We're going to play Is Adam Right in the comments. What is the word cut in your native language? Ooh, good question. Yeah. How many uh, how many different versions would there be for yeah. to cut? So if you have like a scissors, or I guess I should do that like this. If yeah. we had like special effects, then like the the pot, the bottom <laughs> of this would like fall off. Exactly. Uh, we're gonna. That'll be 2025 when we're doing that level of production. <laughs> yeah. Right now, okay, we're just so the other part that I thought was really interesting about this. Um, well, maybe not interesting, but very funny to me um, is where it talks about how um, part of the part of the theory about where OK came from is this presidential mm. election um, 
for Martin Van Buren. Okay. And uh, he was known as Old Kinderhook. No, that's not the one I want to say, the old correct one. Because he used that to be Old Kinderhook is all correct. And so one old, of the things that like people correct. did in like, what was this? Like the, was it the 1900s or the 1800s? Um, I'm looking at the script right now. Yeah, 1800s, I think. 1800s, okay. So um, then they thought it was funny to misspell words as a, as a joke okay. and then uh, like just use their, their like first letter. Yeah. Like who oh. thinks that's funny? I don't know. Well, humor has evolved a lot, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I anyway. do think that. Yeah. The... So it was common to spell words incorrectly using the wrong letters as a joke. Okay. <laughs> ha ha. <laughs> see, do you see how I just said? Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah, I think, um, let us know in the comments if the word okay is a word you use a lot, Yeah. Um, that you're comfortable using. Was it one of the first words you learned in English or um, have you never, has anyone never, I can't imagine there's no one, if you're learning English, I would assume you're familiar with the word okay. Yeah, that's probable. Yeah. Uh, well, we have been... I should say, okay, which is my okay. way of, of rounding up this program and saying, okay, you can find us. Now, on... I'm going to be hyper aware of how many times I say, okay, in this program from now on. Exactly. Like, next time we record one or in a live show. I know. You're just wherever, all self-conscious now, aren't you? I'm always going to be super self-conscious about it. Yeah. Well, don't worry about it. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> All right, so make sure you find us on Facebook, Twitter, like, subscribe. Um, check out the uh, scripts by email on our website. There's a little button that says scripts by email. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's about it. And <laughs> if this is your first time here, we should have said this at the beginning. If you've made it all the way through this and haven't listened to the program we're talking about, well, thank you for sticking along for this long. But make sure you go check out that program, How to Use, yeah, How to yeah, Use the Word. Yeah, in a slower version and okay. an advanced version. And a no music version if you get distracted easily by music. Yeah. And you can also follow along with the script on our website at www.spotlightenglish.com. Okay, until next time, we hope you listen, watch, practice, and learn. Spotlight out. Mm -hmm.